Hey guys, Dustin here, and today we've got something, um, whoa! What's up, Piggy Piggy? I was actually digging in the back of my gun safe this week, and I'm like, what is this? And I found my original rifle, like my childhood 22. But it's different, and it's not what you'd expect. And it fits right here, but it's not because I was that little. It's because the gun folds up that little. But what this is, this is the Springfield Armory M6, a survival rifle. Now, they didn't come up with it. Springfield, you know, kind of like the XD, if you know that history. Uh, they stole it from somebody else. And I, th I think the M6 rifle was, it was issued by the Air Force in the 50s and 70s. And so they kind of made a civilian version of it. And this is actually what I grew up shooting. And so this little guy, you got this pin that you can replace it with like a trailer hitch pin. I think I got like a, oh, a quarter inch pin from TSC. And then he had a ring you can pull on it and pull it out and, and put it back in. But this little guy is what I grew up from training myself with marksmanship skills which is in hindsight pretty stupid because it doesn't even have a trigger it has this squeeze lever here and it's just a break open 22 and a 410 um it, the sucker works and it's pretty darn accurate i put a, a, a scope mount on it and you can see it's probably just a little off it points up because i got that set screw set a little too far but i didn't want it wobbling so i guess i had that snug you know my like 15 16 year old self i remember what i wanted when my dad took me to a gun show and i wanted a snake charmer i was probably 14 and i knew a friend that had one and i wanted to take care of stray snakes out at camp uh, but we found this instead i think it was like they ran about 200 bucks back then pretty cool because right now they run like six to nine hundred dollars they came in a gus it's a pig chill he, he just wants to play and it, <laughs> shut up dog go get her go get her go get her the cool thing about it, uh, it, it folds and it it takes down. Uh, the original Air Force versions didn't have a trigger guard, so they'd fold up even more. And of course, the the federal government doesn't have to comply by you know the uh, gun control act, so they had a 14 inch barrel. This one folds, so you can see if it was a 14 inch barrel, it'd probably be about flush. This one's 18 and a half because it's a shotgun. There's you know there's your legal length. Um, uh, I think I read it was 14, uh, the, the 14 was a full choke, but boy, it, it scatters just because maybe there's not as many pellets in 14. It scatters pretty quick. The operation, of course, you just push this latch up and put your 22 on top, 14 down below and close it. And then your hammer is selected by pulling up for 22 and then midway, that's not midway there, midway, you can lock it. You can see that the you can lock it in and that's safe and then all the way down that's going to be 410 and so growing up when i was squirrel hunting yeah i actually squirrel hunted with this uh now your, your sight flips as well so you've got the peep sight for 22 and you're supposed to uh, go down for the shotgun when when i was hunting i was always like start with a 22 and then if you miss you could smash it down recock and get the 410 so that's at least what i uh <laughs> that that was my philosophy on it but you could also dry fire it plenty safe by keeping the hammer locked in the safe position and yes that squeeze lever is just ridiculous but you do it with two fingers and it's it's real kind of smushy and heavy and it's cold out here so i'm not as sensitive as usual you just start squeezing and then you'll you'll feel you don't feel much of a wall eventually it just breaks but of course with plenty of practice i learned where it was uh i was my favorite target growing up was i would melt uh well i'd get a piece of wire hot stick it in a mothball and then go set it up about 20 50 yards away and i was actually using this to pop them in and this this gun is really accurate even with the kind of crude front side up there i was hitting the bullseye target i think i got a video it. so go check that out where you're sh shooting through a one inch hole at 50 yards i thought that was awesome um and then coolest of all you can uh you can store some rounds in the back it's got 15 22 four four tens and uh these also came in different okay different finish stainless finish probably would have been best because here in the humid deep east texas i'd go camping with this and the next morning it would be completely covered in surface rust uh so that's not cool in our environment but uh they also came in 22 mag 22 hornet and i think there was they were playing around with a 45 long colt barrel i don't know this one's just the 410 
it's a neat little gun. It's great to stow away. You can even forget you had it like I did in my gun safe. But we'll go ahead and, and fire some rounds down range. We'll go ahead and set up a camera down there and see what we can do. We're about at 50, no, uh, about 40 yards. So we'll line it up and fire away. All right, so here's the deal. I set up that vertical spinner target. They are... Uh, <laughs> I could do a single shot savage, but this break open, hammer cocking, selecting, finger pinching M6 is going to be a bit different. I bet I'm going to mess up the most by cocking it too fast and putting it on safe or shotgun. Let's shut up and shoot. Well, at least I hit. That's right. right? Okay. Okay. I don't know if it was even moving anymore. I'm wishing I'd oiled that thing now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should have hit it then. Oh, 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 and over! Barely, but got it over. That's in four shots, too. That was perfect run. At least as perfect as I can ever get it. And I did it with this guy. Good. All right, so uh, we've got something else I want to try because of the 410 capability. All right, so what we're going for is we got the MGM target down there. Let me put it kind of over there. And hopefully, so when it falls, we'll shoot it with 22. When it falls and pops up, the uh, clay hopefully will be in frame. And we'll try to blast it with the 410. So in between the shots, I'm going to be flipping the hammer and, and, the, uh, <laughs> and the sight. Maybe we'll have that much time, right? Yeah, that's the idea. Let's do it. There we go. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, that's the Springfield M6, which was actually made by the Czech Republic here. Um, but, you know, once, once you know, in the past, it was just the M6 survival rifle. Pretty cool. If you find one at an affordable price, you won't regret buying it because they're just a neat little gun to have because they're different. It's solid. Um, I think that even the manual said, you know, just go ahead and put your fore end of a paracord on here and and wrap it up they're they're a cool little rifle that you can just keep around so anyway that is what i grew up shooting the uh squeeze bar trigger is stupid but it works and so i guess if it works it's not stupid right oh okay anyway in the meantime y'all shoot straight